James Weatherall, manager, Huntsdale State Fish Hatchery. These fish are a few months old at this time. Brown trout in the pair spawn jars you see will be spawned when they're three-year-old females and two-year-old males. concrete tanks we have three month old brown trout. These brown trout were spawned October, November. They go into these concrete tanks after they hatch out. When they hatch out they're considered fry. They go into the concrete tanks. They begin to swim up. We start feeding them. There are about 30 to 40,000 in these concrete tanks. As they grow and get larger and larger we'll need to move them outside to our larger raceways outside because they become too dense in the concrete tanks inside. These fish will go outside. They will be the future production fish for the anglers to catch. These are our rainbow trout outside in the concrete raceways. These fish are five months old. There's about 100,000 in each of these outside raceways. It will be used for future production fish, which will be stocked for the anglers each spring and fall. Also, a lot of these fish will end up in cooperative nurseries. The cooperative nurseries, we provide 250,000 fish each and every year to the cooperative nurseries. We provide them with brook trout, brown trout, rainbow trout, and golden rainbow trout. They take them as small fingerlings and they raise them up to adults and then stock them in the waters of Pennsylvania also. month-old brook trout. These brook trout are now adults. They are going to be stocked in the waters of Pennsylvania for the anglers to catch. There are roughly 20,000 fish in each of these raceways. We start stocking them March 1st and we will stock them all the way through the middle of May. These brook trout are 11 to 12 inches on average and a little over a half pound each. What we're seeing now is our feed truck shooting feed out to the fish. This truck is used to feed over 1 million fish each and every day throughout the year. We have two different bins on the truck to put different size feed on to feed the fish.
are stocking the stocking truck. We use nets to sometimes load the stocking trucks. We will hand the nets up to the driver and he will just dump the net into the stocking truck. Other times we'll use the nets to put the fish onto a fish elevator. The elevator lifts the fish up and distributes and drops them down into each tank. as our basic primary life support system for the trout on each stocking truck and sometimes we supplement oxygen to the fish depending on how heavy the load is on that stocking truck. That is also an emergency backup oxygen supply for those fish. Each stocking truck has marks on the side of the tank that shows how many pounds of fish we can put into each tank based on the number that are required for that stocking. WCO or Waterways Conservation Officer is responsible for the fish getting safely into the water. The Waterways Conservation Officer is assisted each and every year by the volunteers that are out there helping stock the waters of Pennsylvania. These volunteers are essential to the stocking of the fish each and every year. These are our brown trout that we use to spawn each and every year. These brown trout are spawned in October and November of each year. We use three-year-old females and two-year-old males. A lot of these fish are one to four pounds each. We stock these fish after they are spawned the following year in March, April, and May. And we can have upwards of 10 to 50 of these fish on each and every truck.